27 years ago, Angelicum opened its portal to its first batch of pre-elementary pupils and holding its first commencement exercises for 24 Kinder 2 completers who were to move on to regular grade 1 the following school year. But where are they now? What became of them after their stint with us? Mostly finishing their preparatory years from pre-elementary until junior until recently their senior high school years. heartwarming to see our alumni pursuing their fields of interest and expertise as gainful members of their communities. It is like sending out angels to the world, sowing the seeds of the Angelic and Morris in volumes, they imbibe for their alma mater. Angelicum through the years have continued monitoring and keeping tab of its graduates, especially in this age of sophisticated information technology. This way, they too can interact with a present crop of students and share significant life lessons as only experience can teach. Mabuhay Angelicans, wherever you are in the world and spread our motto. In unum diem aminim et natura, oneness with God, man and nature. Today, the 70th day of July 2021, the Takloban Angelicum Learning Center once again paid tribute to its graduates and completers from the elementary department, the junior high school, 
and senior high school departments. In a sense, they are a pioneering batch, having completed the school year in a totally new method of instruction dubbed as distance learning through the use of different platforms available in the World Wide Web. How did Angelicum respond to the challenges wrought about by the pandemic that has irreversibly changed the face of educational delivery? The answer was obvious. To test and apply available applications in the information technology highway and adapt what were the most suitable platforms that were in consonance with the Angelicum brand of educational service excellence it has provided to its pupils and students in the past 27 years. Yes, going high-tech was the way forward for this school year. And today, we witness the testimonial to the achievements of 95 graduates and movers in the various levels for school year 2020-2021 at the Tecloban Angelicum Learning Center. Let us give honor to God and country by rising for the invocation and the singing of the Philippine National Anthem. Sang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiliw, kaya sa sinahanan, alam ng puso sa dikit mo'y buhay. Upang hinihinang, kuya ka ng magiting, sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil, sa nagatang tutok sa simoy at sa langit mong pangraw. Now listen to our graduates and movers as they welcome their parents to this virtual ceremony. Representing Mark Emmanuel Solanya, Kenneth Jen Mate, Isha Gwen Young, Dayan Angelica Ampo, and Nico Brian Nayad. Our beloved parents, teachers, and guests, your esteemed presence this afternoon at this momentous occasion. Our 28th graduation exercises and moving up ceremony is indeed an indication of your love and concern for us. We thank you all for being with us and we greet you a very warm welcome. You will be our witnesses as we receive our diplomas and certificates. And to you all, we dedicate what we have prepared for this afternoon. 
to our alma mater, the Tacloban Angelcom Learning Center, we pledge to uphold your ideals of teaching so noble, what you have so diligently imparted to our young minds, and we will live by your school motto, oneness with God, man, and nature. Again, with sincerity and pride, we welcome you all to our graduation exercises and moving up ceremony. And now, to present the 2020-2021 graduates and movers, may I call their class advisors to do the honors. For the senior high school graduates, Miss Kate Renee P. Mukya, Professor Regina G. Cinco, Director of Tacloban Angelicum Learning Center, Dr. Josefina R. Cabrigas, Senior High School Principal of Tacloban Angelicum Learning Center, Dr. Munina E. Gabrino, Department of Education Representative, Private Schools Coordinator, and Public Schools District Supervisor. I have the honor to present to you four candidates for graduation who satisfactorily completed the requirements for senior high school education required by the Department of Education. And that, I recommend that they be given their diplomas. Invested in me by the Department of Education through the school division superintendent and upon the recommendation of your school principal that you have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed in the basic education curriculum. I hereby confirm you, senior high school graduates of the Global City Angelicum Learning Center for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations! Lago Rose Kyla G. First honors. Bancuro Ina H. With honors. Loyalty Awardee. Solania Mark Emmanuel B. With honors. Loyalty Awardee. Paglinawan Kevin Ace A. Loyalty Awardee. And now, to present the 2020-2021 graduates and movers, may I call their class advisors to do the honors. And for the elementary graduates, may I call in Miss Aymari Pearl P. Ignacio. Professor Regina G. Cinco, Director of Tacloban and Chalicum Learning Center. Dr. Munina E. Gabrino, Department of Education Representative, Private Schools Coordinator, and Public School District Supervisor. I have the honor to present to you 50 candidates for graduation who satisfactorily completed the requirements of the elementary education required by the Department of Education and that I recommend that they be given their diplomas. You are vested in me by the Department of Education through the school division superintendent and upon the recommendation of your school principal that you have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed of the basic education curriculum. I hereby confirm you, elementary graduates of the Cuban City Angelicum Learning Center for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations! Young Isha Gwen L. First Honors, Loyalty Awardee, Scholar to the Philippine Science High School. Herrera Sofia Loren D. Second Honors, Loyalty Awardee, Scholar to the Philippine Science High School. Mate Kenneth Jen J. Third Honors, Loyalty Awardee. Tugonon Hannah Marcella S. Fourth Honors. Scholar to the Philippine Science High School. Akal Raymond Marie A. Fifth Honors, Loyalty Awardee. Abarientos Mary Faith Antoinette T. With Honors, Loyalty Awardee. Mendiola Ashley Javeli A. 
with honors. Ermitanio Carame G with honors. Nacario Bridget N with honors. Labini Ava Sophia J with honors. Loyalty Awardee. Penyaranda J of Clyde A with honors. Loyalty Awardee. Canedo Paula Angelo B with honors. Loyalty Awardee. Lantajo Virgilio Miguel B with honors. Loyalty Awardee. Sia Simantha C with honors. Loyalty Awardee. La Nueva Teresa Linda M with honors. Loyalty Awardee. Sabalza Brendan Rex A with honors loyalty awardee. Bernardo Mabe Feliz A with honors. Octa Angelo A with honors loyalty awardee. Scholar to the Philippine Science High School. Avila Princess Marie P. With honors, loyalty awardee. Reden Clara Curriz. Graduate. Villegas Uno Thaddeus J. Loyalty awardee. Kanayong Neyu Don A. Loyalty Awardee. Bakala Shana Therisha R. Graduate. Chua Carlo John Marie S. Loyalty Awardee. Malibago Duane Adric D. Loyalty Awardee. Mutia Ravik Duane A. Loyalty Awardee. Tam Lykel Denise A. Graduate. Rimandaban James Nathaniel T. Graduate. Dagoy Bryce 5B. Loyalty Awardee. Adolfo Val Justin C. Loyalty Awardee. Larius Lucky Brian L. Loyalty Awardee. Bunda Keno J. Loyalty Awardee. Nicola Sora Angel B. Loyalty Awardee. Trya Anton Dominic. Graduate Langbid Clarence Philip A. Loyalty Awardee Mendigo Casey Nazarene C. Graduate Abad Joey Caitlin C. Loyalty Awardee Elorcha Ian Noah G. Loyalty Awardee.
Magallanes Rija Michele P. Graduate. Buat Zaid Alexander Kim T. Graduate. Valila Justin Joseph L. Loyalty Ordi. I son Angelina Louise A. Graduate. Depaz Hill David S. Graduate. Dadison Cristiano Paolo C. Loyalty Ordi. Alejo Chantal, Loyalty Awardee. Sebastian Rylan, Palin George E. Graduate. Moscari Mahia Masaika Therese C. Loyalty Awardee. Degatan Kisha T. Loyalty Awardee Sisista Jillian Claire T. Loyalty Awardee Devera Eric Godfrey A. Graduate And now to present the 2020-2021 graduates and movers May I call their class advisors to do the honors. For the junior high school completers, may I call it Miss Rachel May L. Laparete. Professor Regina G. Cinco, Director of the Cloban Angelicum Learning Center. Dr. Josefina R. Cabigas, High School Principal of the Cloban Angelicum Learning Center. Dr. Munina E. Gabino. Department of Education Representative, Private School Coordinator, and Public School District Supervisor may have the honor to present to you 41 candidates for moving up who have satisfactorily completed the requirements for junior high school education required by the Department of Education and that I recommend that they be given their Certificate of Completion. Our visit in me by the Department of Education through the school's division superintendent and upon the recommendation of your school principal that you have satisfactorily completed all the requirements prescribed of the basic education curriculum. I hereby confirm you, junior high school completers of the Cloban City Angelicum Learning Center for school year 2020-2021. Congratulations! Ampo Dayan Angelica D. First Honors Loyalty Awardee. Nayad Nicole Bryan M. First Honors Loyalty Awardee. Baronda Bernadette Grace M. Second Honors Loyalty Awardee Monje Priscilla S. Third Honors Loyalty Awardee Garado Claire Antoinette L. Fourth Honors Rodrigo Ira Joy D. Fifth Honors Lakaba Shanli Ann M. With Honors Loyalty Awardee Tagra Dave Kendrick O. With Honors Loyalty Awardee Viu Vicente Jude A. With Honors Loyalty Awardee Ingrushal Kevin Carl Arman F. With Honors 
Loyalty Awardee. Ong Stephanie A. With honors. Adolfo Valente C. With honors. Loyalty Awardee. D. Lara Isabel A. With honors. Antoni Enrico Ali the Fourth C. Completer Loyalty Awardee. Apostle Paulo Miguel S. Completer Loyalty Awardee. Barretta Andre James M. Completer. Kalikoy Kobe Esteban A. Completer. Sibalius Kate Nazer M. Completer. Devera Andre Luis D. Completer. Homeris Justin P. Completer. Jaime Roy Angelo L. Completer. Lopez Vincent Ian Gabriel B. Completer. Manito Ruben Joseph P. Completer. Loyalty Awardee. Manuta John Harold L. Completer. Martinez Hatch Daniel I. Completer. Mercado Radcliffe Rickert A. Completer Loyalty Awardee. Hazan Paul Adrian S. Completer. Rayo Gracian Jaji N. Completer. Sublion Miguel Darius P. Completer. Loyalty Awardee. Salvation Jehoshua S. Completer. Lopez Joe Philip A. Completer. Advincula Shemina Doniel. Completer. Anino Almea M. Completer. Loyalty Awardee. Camposano Merzian Florlen P. Completer. Loyalty Awardee. Coral Kier Gwyniver C. Completer. Loyalty Awardee. Restore Anna Margareta Y. Completer. Loyalty Awardee. Salvation Justin May S. Completer. Sanita Eunice C. Completer. Tan Trisha M. Completer. Tante Sophia Jamel N. Completer. Rico Hana KT Completer Let us now listen 
to the valedictorian messages from each level and the bequeathal of the perpetual trophy of achievement given by the school to the top achievers for the school year, starting with the elementary graduates, Ezekiel Frederick V, last year's valedictorian, to be received by this year's valedictorian, Isha Gwen L. Young. To our esteemed school directors, Professor Regina G. Cinco, distinguished teachers of Angelicum, non-teaching staffs, parents, and lastly, the graduates of Bus 2021, a pleasant day to all. This is the day all of you are waiting for, the graduation day. I will take this great opportunity to congratulate you, the great six graduates of Bus 2021, for your well-deserved success. Learning in this time of crisis is just very demanding. With the sudden change of setup from face-to-face -face class to online class was back-breaking. And now, I would like to share a few experiences of mine in my first year of high school here in Tacloban Angelicum Learning Center. First, I've come to realize that online class is not for everyone and I assume particularly everyone thought of that. And why is that? Basically, everyone is not the same when it comes to learning. Some might be active and some might be passive. But we don't really have a choice due to the pandemic that we are facing right now. And to overcome this hardship, we should avoid distractions around us that might affect our learning. Examples of which are playing too much games, watching series like K-drama or anime, and overusing of social networking sites. It's not actually bad to do these things or most likely it's one of our hobbies. For us to avoid this, we should set a time management that is really important, especially to our daily life. In addition, this pandemic has taught us many ways to go back to our old ways, to be cautious in our surroundings, and to be healthy all the time. Furthermore, this trying time or the pandemic is not the reason for us to be lazy. We have to be a source of energy and inspiration to our friends, relatives, and classmates that whatever catastrophes we have, there is God who is mightiest of all. Next, one of the most important things in high school is to always get your work done on time. Sometimes, managing your time can be difficult, especially in this adversity. You don't want to put yourself in a situation when you're coming the night before to finish all of your homework or study for a test. You will save yourself from a lot of stress and anxiety if you just get your work done as soon as possible, not at the last minute. It's definitely a good idea to get a planner of some sort to keep yourself on track. It will help you stay on top of your assignments and will give you satisfaction when you can cross off the things you've done. In conclusion, I want to congratulate the grade 6 graduates of Bus 2021 for completing the school year 2020 to 2021. Despite having an online class, they managed to achieve being a completer. Now that a new chapter of your life awaits you, have faith for God is with us. Trust the process and be hopeful until the end of the night. No one can separate us from God. Pray harder than any pain you've ever felt. This is Ezekiel Frederick V. Villegas, a grade 7 student of the Global Angelicum Learning Center passing on the perpetual trophy of excellence to the Basho 2021 valedictorian, Isha Gwen L. Young. Before I end this, I want to share my very unforgettable quotation that I want you to instill in your heart and mind that attitude is the key to our success. Thank you and God bless. I thank you, God. First of all, I would like to congratulate everyone on a job well done. Thank you to our beloved school directress, Professor Regina G. Cinco, for always being a beacon for inspiration. Thank you to our teachers for dedicating hours and hours of the day just for us to be able to have the best possible education. The lessons that felt difficult, unexpected quizzes, and the worksheets that never seemed to end, they were all for a purpose. Though it was a challenge, I am still grateful for the opportunities that better prepared me for high school. Thank you to my family, the people who are my constant pillars of support throughout the difficult journey we call life. 
and a big thank you to Papa God for always being there for us. Embracing the new normal was never an easy task. Suddenly, the loud classrooms filled with students who never wanted to sit down turned to bedrooms that siblings would often walk in and out of. All the years of memories were replaced by Zoom meeting links and trips to pick up worksheets. But at the end of the day, it's all about perspective. By choosing to have a negative mindset, we cannot help but perceive life in a negative light. I make a conscious decision to always look at the positive, even when things feel down. I know I can still turn it around. I commend you all for still being able to persevere through our current situation. The resilience that we, as Taklobanans, have is truly admirable. In school, we're taught about numbers, but in real life, numbers are never the right metric to define a person. Not the number in a piece of paper, nor the numbers on a scale. These superficial ideas should never equate to a person's self-worth. The true definition of a person's success should be on one's own happiness. And we should uphold ourselves to no one's standards but our own. The relationships and bonds that we are able to cultivate is worth more than any trophy life can give us. The, these healthy bonds can last us a lifetime's worth of happiness. The best way to make these relationships last is by being nice. It's that simple, just be nice. It may seem like something easy to do, but most people forget to show kindness. Most people forget to be genuine. A little bit of respect and kindness goes a long way when it comes to people in our lives. There's no doubt that change is inevitable. Just like a tiny caterpillar going through metamorphosis, we should accept these changes instead of constantly trying to fight them. By being able to trust the process, we are able to become more confident in ourselves and worry less about our surroundings. By the time we're off and ready to fly away to high school, we are confident butterflies, ready to show our true colors. And remember that in times like these, that we can only focus on the good things, to be kind, to be hardworking, and to have humility, and to have faith. We all stand here as graduates. Though socially distant, our hearts are together. Thank you all for your patience. To God be the glory. Stay safe, everyone. And now, for high school graduates, let us listen to Andrea S. Pazon, last year's valedictorian, as she bequeathed the perpetual trophy to Nico Brian M. Nayad and Diane Angelica D. Ampo, this year's valedictorians. A pleasant day to everyone. Today marks an important occasion for all of you. I remember delivering my valedictorian speech last year through the phone, and there's just no difference to what I am doing right now. It has been a tough year for all of us, but it gives me so much pride and joy that we are all gathered in this momentous event for the graduating students of the school year 2020 to 2021. I am honored to be a part of this ceremony as you close this chapter of your lives. You deserve to celebrate this achievement, for I know you gave your best. It is not easy to switch from a face-to-face -face learning mode to a virtual one. The online classes must have been one of the many challenges that you had to face together with the ongoing pandemic. Be proud of yourselves that you have come this far. You've experienced a whole different school year, but still managed to strive despite the situation that was thrown at you during your last year of junior high school. The frustrations were all worth it, and with that, I congratulate you all for reaching this new milestone. A new chapter awaits for you, and you all know in yourselves what that is. Bigger goals will have to require a better version of you. There may come a time of confusion and doubts towards reaching your goals, but I hope that you will treat it as a challenge rather than discouragement. Always seek to be better each day and keep in mind that even the littlest progress is still progress. One step is better than no steps made at all. Don't forget to enjoy each step of the way, but still try to give your best. I may have had only a few encounters with you, but I have witnessed how much you have grown throughout the years of being in the same institution as you before. Your potential and talents, with the help of the experiences and lessons instilled in you by our alma mater, 
the Tacloban and Chalicom Learning Center, I believe that you will be able to reach your goals in life. I am looking forward to seeing you succeed. Again, congratulations and may God bless you all. To our beloved school directress, Professor Regina G. Cinco, to our high school principal, Dr. Josefina Cabrigas, distinguished guests, parents, teachers, faculty and staff, and lastly, to my fellow completers, a pleasant afternoon to you all. It is with great honor to be able to speak on behalf of my classmates and to represent as one of the valedictorians of school year 2020-2021. First of all, I would like to take this opportunity to express my utmost appreciation and gratitude to my very own family, especially my parents, who provided me with endless motivation and support that encouraged me to do better and to pursue the goals that they have set in my life, in spite of my imperfections and failures in life. On behalf of the A14 class, I would like to extend my appreciation to our wondrous teachers who have worked hard and dedicated their time and efforts to keep us moving forward and for being committed to the success of every student without leaving anyone behind. I would like to thank you for being our helping hand and for allowing us to continue advancing in our education despite all the headaches and problems that we have caused you from the beginning. A special thanks to our school principal, Ms. Regina G. Cinco, for being an exceptional teacher who has taught us good values and helped us develop good qualities of an Angelican. And without you, the Angelicum will never be the same. Throughout my 12 years studying here in Angelicum, I have always considered this institution as my second home. And because of this school, I was able to meet incredible teachers who served as our second parents and helped us grow immensely into better persons. We were able to improve ourselves in academics and recognize our own goals and talents in life. Other than that, I was able to meet the best of the best group of people and that is the one and only A14 class. Without these wonderful people, my high school life would not have been exciting and complete. A year ago before this pandemic, our class was really looking forward to our last year of junior high school and we envisioned that we would be studying together in a traditional school setting where we would go to school every day with our backpacks on and conduct face-to-face -face classes. We visualized ourselves obtaining the title of becoming the seniors and the role models to our lower levels. We even lifted our hopes that we would at least experience our last prom last retreat, last uh, music festival, last Christmas party, and, the and to the other last that we can think of. However, this pandemic really conquered our freedom and we became unfortunate to grab the chance of making memories together. And of course, this saddened us as we weren't able to reach our expectations. Now that I think of it, I have realized that we only took these things for granted and now we're desperately seeking for all of these things to happen. The pandemic may have only brought negativity to the world, but it gave us the greatest opportunity to self-reflect and to appreciate the things in our surroundings, whether it is small or big. As the COVID-19 cases were accumulating in our region here in Tacloban City, we were left no choice but to spend our last year through online classes, which is considered to be the newest and the most convenient mode of education requiring online teaching and modular learning. From my personal experience of online classes, if I were to be honest, I have really struggled in adjusting to the so-called new normal as I was new to it, and it highly affected my physical and mental health. But throughout those sleepless nights, pain, sweat, and tears, I've come to realize that all the hard work has paid off, and indeed, we succeeded. If I were to be asked, what is the secret to success? My answer is, there is no key to success, as it only requires hard work, preparation, persistence, and being able to get up from our failures. And I can see that the A14 class was able to successfully end this chapter with such great achievements. And with that, 
I would like to congratulate our class, the A14 class, for coming this far. Though we were unable to celebrate such milestones in a normal manner and make memories together, we are still fortunate to be given this opportunity to attend the commencement exercises virtually and I would like to thank you to the teachers and to the school administration for letting this happen. Seeing ourselves ending this chapter and opening a new one made me absolutely proud. Through all our struggles, pain, tears, and sweat, we were still able to reach this point. But before we end this journey of ours, I would like to quote the American politician Orrin Hatch, graduation is not the end, but it's the beginning. Though the A14 class is not yet graduating as we're only moving up to senior high school, I would like to say that this ceremony is not yet the end. Instead, it is the time for us to commence a new chapter of our lives. And upon opening a new one, we always have to remember to take pride on how far you have come and to always enjoy to what the future has to offer. And again, to my fellow completers, congratulations. I hope that we are ready to take on another challenge in our lives and to maintain the persistence on being able to achieve the goals that we want to attain. I am really looking forward to seeing ourselves with such great achievements and become more successful in the future. And again, congratulations. Thank you and may God protect us all. To our ever dynamic directress, Professor Hina G. Senko, our beloved high school principal, Dr. Isafina R. Cabricas, our highly esteemed guest speaker, Dr. Monina E. Gabrino, our loving teachers and non-teaching staff, of course, our ever-supportive parents, and my fellow graduates and movers, a pleasant afternoon to all. Today, I would like to thank all the people who have helped me along the way. Thank you to my family, Mama, Papa, and Ate. These last four years have brought us many ups and downs, and it was good to know that you were there to support me. Thank you for making me understand what I was and am capable of doing, and for giving me the strength that I needed to make my dreams come true. There were moments when I felt like giving up, and it was you who always told me to rest and get on with life. I can't thank you enough for what you sacrificed for me. Without the three of you, I wouldn't be standing here right now. To my friends and classmates, you have made my stay at Angelicum a memorable one. The unity of the students here is unsurpassable, and that is what makes us special. I will miss you all dearly, and I am sure that this is a mutual feeling we all share. Wise people say, that high school friendships tend to be the strongest. With that belief in mind, I hope that our friendship will last forever. Thank you again, dear friends and classmates, for giving me the best four years of my life. I hope that we will continue to support and encourage each other in our future endeavors. To my alma mater, teachers and staff, thank you. I think I speak for all students when I express my appreciation to you, teachers. You have been the source of our education and knowledge for the past four years. Thank you for your immense hard work, especially in the midst of the pandemic. I will forever be grateful to all of you. I am also grateful to the non-teaching staff of Angelicum. I really appreciate all the efforts you have made for us. Words can never do justice to the immense contribution you have made in our lives. To my Kumon family, thank you for helping me develop my skills in mathematics. Thank you to my mentor, teacher Karina Dihervasho, who has molded me to the person I am today, and to Professor Hina G. Senko. Thank you for the 10 years of providing us your wisdom and expertise. I will forever be grateful to the both of you for playing such a big role in this journey. Graduation marks the end of another extraordinary chapter in our lives. As this chapter closes, 
I am sure that many of us are eager to begin the next one. Because unlike a math book, we can't flip through the pages of life to see how long the next chapter would be. We all have our own book of life that is yet to be finished. And each day that passes is a page we write ourselves into. Fortunately, as products of the Tacloba Angelicum Learning Center, we have been given all the paper and ink we need to write our stories. And with the love and support from our families, friends, and fellow graduates, our stories will become bestsellers. On graduation day, we often look for heroes. But for me, my hero is the one watching this right now, in front of the screen. I have realized in my 10 years of education in Angelicum that we don't need to look far to find inspiration. That each of us has the potential contribution in making an inspiring contribution to the life of others as long as we stay true to our core values and aim high for our goals. As you leave here today, go and celebrate your accomplishments. But don't forget to open your eyes and see how you too could be an inspiration to others. Because I believe that there is a burning torch inside of you waiting to serve as the guiding light in bringing you and your circle of influence to the right path. Once again, thank you and congratulations, Class of 2021. It is with great pride that we present to you the pupils and students who have excelled in their respective levels from the pre-elementary, elementary, junior and senior high schools as we enter their names, their roll of honor for school year 2020-2021. Their awards and medals were given them in a special and private shoot at the hallowed halls of dear Angelicum. Angelicum 1 and 2 Villa Patricia V. Mosca First Honors Gabe Lorenzo B. Limos Second Honors Pauline Brianna M. Matnog Third Honors Ellie Isabel U. Sheras Fourth Honors Jen G. Bacalando Jr. Fifth Honors Ram Sebastian C. Arbaz With Honors Christopher Richwin G. Texon With Honors Angelicum 3 Garcia Jaisal Destiny S. First Honors Hernandez Anika Drew E. Second Honors Aline Candice Julia G. Third Honors Peñaranda and Real Therese T. Fourth Honors Pimentel Denzel Harvey M. Fifth Honors Inguera Clay Ashton A. With Honors Arenas Joseph Gabriel With Honors Angelicum 4, Aporilio Kira Carmel C, First Honors, Rosales Tamara Marie S, Second Honors, Albao John Celestin G, Third Honors, Bernabe Karina Marie Claudette J, Fourth Honors, Gaddy Zoe Sophia Jace M, Fourth Honors. Angelicum 5A. Gera Sofia Isabel, First Honors. Selga Gian Gadi Angelo, Second Honors. Mindros Marian Faith, Third Honors. Ferrer Harmi Alia, Fourth Honors. Pagador Kristen, Fifth Honors. Yao Zakaria Robertson, With Honors. Muska Kisha Casey, With Honors. Angelicum 5B, Hembra Regina Dorothy M, First Honors, Morphe Juarez P, Second Honors, Elona Isabella Luis D, Third Honors, Pulma Francis James C, Fourth Honors, Sanchez Caitlin Nadine P, Fifth Honors, Capito Lark Rayu L, Fifth Honors, Marie Lex Matthew D, with honors. Down Riel D, 
with honors, Rafon Sophie Isabella D. With honors, Barsha Ayasha R. With honors, Angelicum 6A, Salvation Sean Adrian. First honors, Reyes Trent Christian Onin. Second honors, Somera Isabella L. Third honors, Young Iyana Jillian L. Fourth honors, Simon Julian Isabel L. Fifth honors, Omega Jamie Therese T. With honors, Balyaes Sebastian Miguel C. With honors, Hilera Maria Olivia Andrea. With honors, Uy Max Spencer M. With honors, Atis Ethan Titus G. With honors, General Marie Luis Rafael M. With honors, Angelicum 6B. Vislinio Kaylin Jade M. First honors, Sawada Sam Gerold A. Second honors, Akul Ray Mariel A. Third honors, Aldaba Ariana Bien S. Fourth honors, Padillo Zach Adrian P. Fourth honors, Torino Matthew Lawrence D. With honors, Simborio Cian Francis S. With honors, Caniete Kofi Rowan. With honors, Aguilar Francis Inigo A. With honors, Paloma Drian Carlos A. With honors, Octa Emmanuel A. With honors, Inciso John Ezekiel A. With honors, Ibanez Jeremy Clen C. With honors, Angelicum 7A. Kapanas Inigo Jason D. First honors, Menchas Joshua Lee A. Second honors, Mendoza Sheherazadi Helena B. Third honors, Ko Julia Sofia T. Fourth honors, Down Liam D. Fifth honors, Soledad Shayana Rose C. With honors, Palanya Samria Christine T. With honors, Badillo Almari Nasa D. With honors, Dagoy Kizaya. With honors, Lial Xander Miguel M. With honors, Angelicum 7B. Padillo Zian Andre P. First honors, Villarin Sean Lester C. Second honors, Hernandez Diana Samuel Reese E. Third honors, Binko Dion Edric A. Fourth honors, Go Kimberly Retzel E. Fifth honors, Ipurak Julian Zakari S. With honors, Ilona Marcus Paul D. With honors, Lim Zara Sophia C. With honors, Singzon Rian Famous M. With honors, Angelicum 8, Tagra Ryan Kember. First honors, Obenza Noeli. Second honors, Gloria Eisen. Third honors, Muska Maria Akira. Fourth honors, Lopez Quinlith Esra. Fifth honors, Sudario Chiara Jayer. Fifth honors, Garing Zakia Joy. With honors, Susana Isre Kayen. With honors, Tan Julian Theodore. With honors, Angelicum 8B. Kunanan Lexine Casey T. First honors, Nisef Alexa Luis R. Second honors, Beros Kaylee Simon A. Second honors, Pinaranda Raz Vince Alexander. Fourth honors, Diheto Hannah Y. Fifth honors, Plisan Guyana Azrael J. With honors, Barsha Andre Christoph R. With honors, Pinaranda Rian Kendris T. With honors, 
Go, Emmanuel John A. With honors, Sing, Amandeep G. With honors, Tulibas, Maria Janacel. With honors, Angelicum 9A, Rath Himmel Jr. First honors, De La Peña, Miguel Dante. Second honors, Abuda, Eulogio Master the Fifth. Third honors, Yunzon, Demi Joyce. Fourth honors, Manihas, Jaber Zander. Fifth honors, Angelicum 9B, Julia, Margaret D. Ilona. First honors, Arian Celestine D. Herman. Second honors, Francine Rica S. Nugas. Third honors, Frances Flor C. D. Fourth honors, Angelicum 11, Villegas Ezekiel Frederick V. First honors, Singzon Rich Simon M. Second honors, Bashara Janaya May T. Third honors, Alvero Hart. Fourth honors, Angelicum Twelve, Noriega Ivana May. First honors, La Nueva Vineth. Second honors, Mundala Randal Z. Third honors, Gyunzan Kim Joyce. Fourth honors, Alfonso Justin Clare. Fifth honors, Bacalando Leonora Rose with honors, Colandog Sinead Andre L with honors, De La Cruz Isabel Angeline with honors, Octa Trisha May with honors, Tutaan Prinzi Rose with honors, Rifon Sean Yuan with honors, Angelicum 13. Mate Christine Jin, first honors. Anida Francesca Vin, second honors. Makauba Daphne Cher, third honors. Daddy Zon Marian, fourth honors. Go Jose Lorenzo Luis, fifth honors. Divara Sofia Cassandra, with honors. Ripolio Jesse Carmel Antonia with honors. Animos Adriel Margaret with honors. To cap this virtual graduation, let us lend our ear and listen to the message of our beloved directress, Professor Regina G. Cinco. To the graduating classes in the elementary and senior high school departments, and to the completers in the junior high school department. Let me personally congratulate each one of you for finishing the school year 2020-2021 with a renewed spirit of determination and a surprising degree of success despite the challenges of a new learning environment known as distance learning that heavily depended on the internet and worldwide web connectivity. The same felicitations go to our dear parents and guardians who partnered with the school in order to deliver the day-to-day -day lessons by providing the necessary information technology hardware and converting the home as the new school environment for their children. This partnership of the parents with the teacher advisors and the subject teachers of their pupils and students was one of the key factors that ensured the success of the program. It was through your cooperation dear parents and guardians, that Angelicum was able to still convey the basic teaching learning principles and the noble ideals spelled out in the school motto, in unum deum omni et natura, oneness with God, man, 
and nature. I also wish to take this opportunity to laud and shout out our gratitude to all the teachers, the key IT support staff, and the non-teaching personnel for being innovative and proactive not only in curriculum development and lesson preparations, but also in coming up with fresh ideas and techniques, having the courage to try out and experiment, especially in the early days and weeks of the school year. To be sure, nothing was easy for Angelico, but with sheer determination, if you remember, we finished the school year 2019-2020, perhaps the only school in Tacloban City who continued to conduct classes online until the end of the term and graduated the students according to the merits of their subject outputs and ratings. This experience in the previous year gave us a preview for this current school year. It was a matter of perfecting the various program after thorough assessment in cooperation with our partners at the Division of Tacloban City of the Department of Education. The challenges wrought about by the pandemic were indeed real. Questions lingered in our minds, like, how do we continue delivering to our students the quality of education in the Angelicum tradition? How will the school survive if enrollment drops to crisis level? Will the school just adapt the depth ed modular schooling system? Would a modular model be beneficial to our kind of result-driven and mentally challenged le learners? Yes, these were foremost in our minds. But the administration, after thorough review of all the pros and cons, and with the imprimatur of the Tacloban City Division, decided to invest on the conduct of daily Zoom classes, wherein teachers and students will still meet, albeit virtually, and hold classes as if they were all physically present. The school invested much, particularly on the necessary hardware and software needed to be able to realize the scheme. To name a few, we invested in a PLDT broadband using fiber optics technology, LMS Nearpod USA with unmatched domestic connectivity, and limited broadband access with built-in educational and technical support for the high school department provided all teachers with brand new laptops to enable uninterrupted network access, not only in the conduct of classes, but also in their materials preparations. Bought two units of photocopying machines to produce the weekly learning guides on time. The school provided proper assessment methodologies as found in the learning guides and as devised by the teachers that included the new grading system. The school used various educational platforms or learning management systems, which were either subscription-based or school-developed, using videos and available software in the net and other materials to assist students to meet their expectations for learning defined in the depth and minimum learning competencies and the required level of mastery of skills stated in the Angelicum curriculum. 
Yes, all these were put in place before we started the school year. And not to mention the trainings our teachers underwent just to be able to deliver our promise and our commitment to you. A sterling quality education, notwithstanding the difficulties we encountered outside our comfort zones. Yes, we are committed to champion the cause of unhampered and seamless education for all our students, but with unwavering assistance and dedication of our dear parents. For all these efforts are geared towards the intellectual growth and human development of your children. Let not this pandemic be a reason for all of us to slacken in our determination for the cause of education. I assure you that with divine intervention and the mercy of our Lord, this pandemic will eventually be tamed and that experiences we underwent, both bad and good, will be part of a greater learning process for all of us. Whatever will be the directives of the Department of Education and the National Interagency Task Force for COVID-19 as regards to the conduct of classes for this coming school year, let me assure each one of you that the Tacloban Angelicum Learning Center is ready. Whether it is the current distance learning or whether it will be hybrid learning, meaning 50% face-to-face and 50% distance learning, or even if it will be 100% full face-to-face. -face. Yes, Angelicum is ready and prepared. We still would want to welcome you all back to the Angelicum family on August 23, 2021, the start of school year 2021-2022. Thank you, everyone. May God bless us all. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the highlights of this year's graduation is the first ever performance and singing of the new Angelicum hymn to be sung by our graduates and movers. The lyrics were done by selected Angelicans and the music was composed by a local musician in the person of Sir Jairus Campo. Henceforth, this will be the official hymn of the school and shall be sung by all Angelicans in all occasions of the Tacloban Angelicum Learning Center. Yeah. 
Our dear parents, guardians, angelicans, we will never say goodbye. We'll just say, until we meet again, may God bless us all. <laughs>